Hello there, and welcome back to yet another break. I told myself, you know what, a few weeks ago, like, I think I'm done buying Gypsy. Um, I bought plenty of blasters, bought like a mega box. Um, and I was like, you know what, I'm just, I'm just done. Um, I feel like, you know, I don't know if say the ship's kind of sailed, but haven't really been interested in the product as much. But then I went to Target, and they had a whole little separate stand set up with a bunch of 2020 Gypsy hangers uh, that were five dollars each. These are Target exclusive, and I thought, you know what, for five dollars a piece, I'm gonna pick all these up, see what happens. And so I got a total of eight here, and I'm just gonna stack these up. Hopefully, we can find something. Um, so in there, in these, uh, it says find two inserts inside, which that's kind of a lie. You can find like up to two inserts, I believe. But there's like some you don't even get like any inserts. I guess if you're like counting a bazooka back as an insert. But most of like if you're going to get a tarot of the diamond or you're going to get a fortune teller, you're not going to get an additional insert, which means you're only getting one insert. Uh, but yeah, there's only 11 cards um, inside. Um, I kind of highly recommend these. Uh, I've actually gotten some pretty good luck. I pulled a uh, Kyle Lewis bazooka back out of one of these one time. Um, recommend going to a uh, YouTube channel called Striker Breaks. He's got a value sheet on Gypsy Queen and uh, one of the things he said was buy the hangers. So the hanger is probably your best bet. Um, you're going to probably get a chance to maybe get something in the middle. Haven't pulled an autograph or anything like that. Um, but as you can see, just opening a little bit here, it's really not a whole lot of cards in there. So if you're looking at something, I got one over here. If you're looking at something like the hanger boxes for 2020 Series 1, they're about the same size. It's just they clearly have a lot less cards, plus the 2020 Series 1 is $10, where the Gypsy Queen ones are only $10. So you can kind of see where there's the difference there. But we're going to open up first one. We've got eight total uh, Gypsy Queen uh, hangers. Let's see what we get. Looking for missing nameplates, logo swaps, bazooka backs. Don't see an insert necessarily in here, so that might be a good shot that we might get a logo swap, missing nameplate, bazooka back, something like that. Of course, always looking for the big rookies, looking for a Yordan, looking for Gavin Lux, looking for... Um, Boba Shett, we have a nice Mike Trout, and there we go. There's our first one. There's a missing nameplate. This is going to be Dylan Cease, missing nameplate. So there's the first good card, and also we have another good card. We have a Kyle Lewis right there. I'll double check just to make sure, but more than likely, since we got the missing nameplate, we're not going to have any bazooka backs. But just to show you, I'll kind of slide through those right there. Alright, so off to a good start. Um, got a missing nameplate. I've actually gotten, I think, more bazooka backs, which I think by the odds you're actually more likely to get a missing nameplate than a bazooka back. But I've actually gotten quite a few uh, bazooka backs recently. I've had some pretty good luck with those. Sold some on eBay for, oh, you know, anywhere between four, six dollars um, on some, even just some players that aren't really that big. We got Glaber, Lester, we got Kershaw, Alfaro, and Guzman, and yeah, here we go. We have a logo swap. We have a, is that Yomer? Yep, Yomer Sanchez of the White Sox. We do have a logo swap. You can see the difference between that, so that's a variation. I'll keep that. I'll probably separate these two. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad on those. Still working on better lighting conditions, but doing the best that I can with what I have currently. Is there a chance we could get an autograph in here? I have no idea. Probably. But if I look closely, it's probably not a very good chance. You can kind of see some of the odds if you want to zoom in there. Uh, I do see autograph one out of 1,274 which I think that might be just a base autograph. Not sure if that's counting any variation, colors, um, and such. But again, our chances of an autograph, and I didn't expect anything to get like an autograph out of these. But you never know. You always gotta believe. 
Goldschmidt looks like kind of sneaking out at the bottom there. Probably have a fortune teller card. There's a Riley Rogers. There's Trent Grisham. Like that. And there's an Austin Meadows fortune teller. Ender Bogart. It's Ryan O'Hearn. I know I kind of missed some of the uh, other ones I'll flip through on the bazooka backs, but I'm not going to have any since we've got our our uh, cards so far. Um, again, I will gladly take a missing nameplate or a logo swap over a fortune teller or a tarot of the diamond any day of the week. And we may Oh, no, just going to be one. Looks like that one was maybe bent in there. But looks like we probably have another fortune teller coming up. Wit. AJ Puck. I haven't gotten too much gypsy of him. And there's a Jordan. There's the guy. Jordan Alvarez. Right there. Probably maybe one of our best cards. I don't think I've gotten a uh, fortune teller Yordan yet. I knew I've gotten a couple Tarot of the Diamond Yordans, but not his fortune teller yet. And there's another good one right there. There's Robert. So we've got a Yordan. We've got a Robert. Can we get a bow? Maybe a Gavin. Let's see. I'll stick that up there as well. Vlad, Jr., Mercado, Molina, Holt, Dean, Woodruff. Okay, so I'll check that one. We can kind of see that we just had straight base cards. No missing nameplates, no logo swaps, no insert, no tarot, no fortune teller. I think we got a pretty good shot of a bazooka back, so let's look. And we sure don't. I thought we would have had a pretty good shot there. Didn't have any inserts, so that might be just kind of a nothing pack, unless I'm missing. The only other one I can think of is a Jackie Robinson day. Did I miss a Jackie Robinson? Not seeing that I did. And so you usually get something. So, I don't think, yeah, no, uh, no SPs. I don't think I've gotten any uh, older players. So, I think that one might be just kind of a, a nothing. You can definitely let me know if I missed something in that pack. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. I do miss things sometimes. We all miss things. And it happens. I've, uh, I haven't been the greatest at spotting the Jackie Robinsons at times. Uh, there's a couple that are like really hidden. Like you really got to look hard to be like, oh, that guy's got a sleeve patch. That's a Jackie Robinson day photo variation. It's kind of hard to see. Chavis. There's a Soto. Brantley, Rosario. Collins, Urania. Okay, Loriana. Okay, so let's see again if we have something here. Maybe a bazooka back. Nothing in that one either. I'm just going to flip through these again. Maybe I missed something. No Player's Day weekend or black and white. I do believe those are um, retail, or excuse me, hobby exclusive. And yeah, I don't think I have anything crazy in this either. Um, again, unless there's something I've missed, please let me know uh, if I missed something there. So I would say probably the best uh, that I've pulled out of here. I think I pulled out of one uh, hanger a while back. I think I pulled a Sammy Sosa uh, short print blue uh, out of 150, blue parallel. So that was actually really cool. And I think the only other one was a Kyle Lewis uh, rookie card bazooka back that I sold for pretty good on eBay. I was very happy with that sale. Got some dust on the mat. Hoskins, there's a Drew Guerrero again, kind of some of the same cards, there's Eloy, Guriel, Anthony Kay, Adamas, getting kind of multiple nothings here, really kind of bummers, 
but I'm, I'm like I'm really having to check since we're not getting any inserts I'm just really having to check uh, if I'm missing uh, like a Jackie Robinson day oh well there's one that I missed Pedro Martinez look at that there he is Pedro Martinez that's a short print um, now of course I'm needing to look back and I'm like did I miss I'm gonna do it again. I'm sorry. Did I miss another player that's an SP? So again, the SP is gonna be 301, I believe, to 320 numbered. Sorry, but this is driving me crazy. I have to look. I know you guys are probably writing in the comments, what is this guy doing? How is he missing all these cards? I didn't see one in that stack. I could go back even farther, but I'm gonna save you all that right there. But we did get Pedro. We're down to our last one. No bazooka backs. Do you have a logo swap? Did have a missing nameplate? Um, of course, I'm expecting nothing short of a um, gold autograph to one of one. I don't think those exist, but maybe they do. I don't know. Escobar, Webb, Young, Stamont, good rookies. There, just all in a row, four in a row. Newman, Kiermaier. There's another missing nameplate. This is going to be Nolan Arenado. I like that one. And Davis Pujols, done. Flipping those over. So, I uh, thought I'd maybe get something a little bit better um, out of those. Didn't get too much craziness. Um, but did get two missing nameplates, got a Robert, we're happy about that, got a Pedro, and uh, got a Jordan um, fortune teller. So, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about these uh, hangers. I probably now am officially done with Gypsy Queen. Uh, I don't see myself buying any more personally unless it's more of these I just find on the shelves um, somewhere. Uh, but let me know what you thought of this, and uh, please always leave your feedback constructive uh, is always helpful, I suppose. If you don't want degrading feedback, do you? Um, but uh, until next time, we'll see you later.